The Salisbury University Seagulls came into Butterfield ranked seventh in the nation, but the Bombers were prepared for the Seagulls' powerful offense. Defense kept the triple option in check all day. Oh, I, th I thought we had a great game against the triple option. Coach Mack gave us all the right looks all week long. Scout teams did a great job. This was a whole team victory. This wasn't just the defense. This was everybody. We wrapped that all week, and throughout practice, Coach McDonough and uh, Coach Mrozinski have us you know, pretty well prepared. So we felt good coming in, and we knew that we had a chance to knock them off, and I'm glad we did. All it is is assignment football, and today we really stuck to our assignment, and uh, everyone made great plays when it mattered most. The scouts did a great job for us. Our kids had a good week of practice defensively, and I think it, it showed, showed today. After holding the Seagulls offense only 50 yards on the ground after two quarters, the Bombers went into the half pitching a shutout. Oh, it's huge, you know, but it's a game of two halves, so we knew that we had to regroup, refocus, and uh, make adjustments. It feels good. It gave us confidence in the second quarter, or the second half, I mean, uh, definitely bring it out. We were happy that we, we uh, didn't let up any points, but we knew we had to keep coming in the second half. After a rough couple of weeks, and without head coach Mike Welch, Bombers earned a much-needed win against a nationally ranked opponent. We faced a lot of adversity all year with losing a lot of starters and losing Coach Walsh, obviously. So to come out here and you know set a goal for yourself just to beat a team that good and that talented, um, it's unbelievable. It's a great feeling. Not many people outside of Ithaca gave the Bombers a chance to win. But if the defense proved anything, it's that there's no guarantees in football. From Butterfield Stadium, I'm Nick Rojas, The Gridiron Report.